Dear M, we were on a journey separately. You in a car, me on a bike. I had a flat stuck on the side of a road with the buffalo ignoring me. Flustered, I pretended to know what I was doing, trying not to attract attention, but craving it. You stopped, made some joke about the Dutch and their bikes. I didn't get it, but I laughed in secret relief. The tire was fixed with conversation and tea, and I realized that small pleasures with you are sometimes the only things I need. Thank you. Love. Elf. My grandfather, he was a, he worked for a shipping company, so he traveled all around the world. So he used to send like postcards and bring like coins back to us, to my sister and I, because we were the two eldest grandchildren and the favorites. Um, so we had all this kind of stuff and I had, so from him, I'd heard about all these different countries. So I'd heard about Japan and he loved Japan and he tried to actually direct me before I went to Japan. He's like, now there's this ramen shop. <laughs> and he was trying to tell me about this place where I could go and find the best ramen in Japan <laughs> with a, a friend of mine. Um, and I, I said to her that I'm gonna put everything in a box. And so when I die, <laughs> she nice thing to think about to the box. And she's going to she's going to open it. And there are two other friends, so three in total, like assuming we're all still living in the Netherlands. So I'm dead. The three of them are going to go through all the stuff and they can laugh or, or whatever, react in whatever the way they want. And then they're going to burn it. <laughs>